Good morning, Half-Heart family, and welcome to Wednesday Morning Prayers. Today we honor Saint Cleopas, one of the two disciples of the way to Emmaus, martyr. Join me in a reading about Saint Cleopas from the Gospel of Saint Luke. Now that very day, two of them were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him, but they were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all of this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described. But him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophet spoke! Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them all that was referred to him in the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going farther. But they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that, while he was with them at the table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning while he spoke to us on the way, and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has also appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how it was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. Saint Cleopas, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the holy and undivided Trinity, now and forevermore. Amen. Stabat Mater Dolorosa, the sorrowful mother was standing. At the cross her station keeping, stood the mournful mother weeping, close to Jesus to the last. Through her heart, his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing, now at length the sword has passed. Oh, how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed of the sole begotten one. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious son. Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in miseries so deep, Christ's dear mother to behold? Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain? 
in that mother's pain untold. Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rent. For the sins of his own nation saw him hang in desolation, till his spirit forth he sent. O thou mother, fount of love, touch my spirit from above, make my heart with thine accord. Make me feel as thou hast felt, make my soul to glow and melt with the love of Christ, my Lord. Holy Mother, pierce me through, in my heart each wound renew of my Savior crucified. Let me share with thee his pain, who for all our sins was slain, who for me in torments died. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me all the days that I may live. By the cross with thee to stay, there with thee to weep and pray, is all I ask of thee to give. Virgin of all virgins blessed, listen to my fond request. Let me share in thy grief divine. Let me to my latest breath in my body bear the death of that dying son of thine. Wounded with his every wound, steep my soul till it hath swooned in his very blood away. Be to me, O virgin nigh, lest in flames I burn and die in this awful judgment day. Christ, when thou hast called me hence, be thy mother my defense, be thy cross my victory. While my body here decays, may my soul thy goodness praise, safe in paradise with thee. Amen. An Act of Adoration O great God, the Sovereign Lord of heaven and earth, I prostrate myself before thee, with all the angels and saints, I adore thee. I acknowledge thee to be my creator and sovereign Lord, my first beginning and last end. I render to thee the homage of my being and life. I submit myself to thy holy will, and I devote myself to thy divine service this day and forever. The Lord's Prayer Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Angelus The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech Thee, O Lord, Thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, Thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by His passion and cross be brought to the glory of His resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Act of Faith O my God, I firmly believe that Thou art one God in three divine persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I believe that Thy divine Son became man and died for our sins, and that He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches, because Thou hast revealed them, who canst neither deceive nor be deceived. Act of Hope O my God, relying on Thy infinite goodness and promises, I hope to obtain pardon of my sins, the help of Thy grace, and life everlasting through the merits of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer. Act of Charity O my God, I love Thee above all things, with my whole heart and soul, because Thou art all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of Thee. I forgive all who have injured me, and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Now we make a firm resolution to avoid evil and to do good. Adorable Jesus, divine pattern of that perfection to which we should all aspire, I will endeavor this day to follow thine example, to be mild, humble, chaste, zealous, patient, charitable and resigned. Incline my heart to keep thy commandments. I am resolved to watch over myself with the greatest diligence, and to live soberly, justly, and piously for the time to come. I will take care of my words that I may not offend with my tongue. I will turn away my eyes that they may not see vanity and I will be particularly attentive not to relapse this day into my accustomed failings, but to struggle against them with thy gracious assistance. Enlighten my mind, purify my heart, and guide my steps, that I may pass all my life in thy divine service. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, 
the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Litany of the Most Holy Name of Jesus Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. God the Father of Heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Jesus, Son of the Living God, have mercy on us. Jesus, Splendor of the Father, have mercy on us. Jesus, Brightness of Eternal Light, have mercy on us. Jesus, King of Glory, have mercy on us. Jesus, Son of Justice, have mercy on us. Jesus, Son of the Virgin Mary, have mercy on us. Jesus, Most Lovable, have mercy on us. Jesus, Most Admirable, have mercy on us. Jesus, Mighty God, have mercy on us. Jesus, Father of the world to come, have mercy on us. Jesus, Angel of Great Counsel, have mercy on us. Jesus, Most Powerful, have mercy on us. Jesus, Most Patient, have mercy on us. Jesus, Most Obedient, have mercy on us. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. Jesus, lover of chastity, have mercy on us. Jesus, lover of us, have mercy on us. Jesus, God of peace, have mercy on us. Jesus, author of life, have mercy on us. Jesus, example of virtues, have mercy on us. Jesus, zealous lover of souls, have mercy on us. Jesus, our God, have mercy on us. Jesus, our refuge, have mercy on us. Jesus, father of the poor, have mercy on us. Jesus, treasure of the faithful, have mercy on us. Jesus, Good Shepherd, have mercy on us. Jesus, True Light, have mercy on us. Jesus, Eternal Wisdom, have mercy on us. Jesus, Infinite Goodness, have mercy on us. Jesus, Our Way and Our Life, have mercy on us. Jesus, Joy of Angels, have mercy on us. Jesus, King of Patriarchs, have mercy on us. Jesus, Master of Apostles, have mercy on us. Jesus, Teacher of Evangelists, have mercy on us. Jesus, Strength of Martyrs, have mercy on us. Jesus, Light of Confessors, have mercy on us. Jesus, Purity of Virgins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Crown of all Saints, have mercy on us. Be merciful unto us. Spare us, O Jesus. Be merciful unto us. Graciously hear us.
O Jesus. From all evils, Jesus, deliver us. From all sin, Jesus, deliver us. From thy wrath, Jesus, deliver us. From the snares of the devil, Jesus, deliver us. From the spirit of uncleanness, Jesus, deliver us. From everlasting death, Jesus, deliver us. From the neglect of thine inspirations, Jesus, deliver us. Through the mystery of thy holy incarnation, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy nativity, Jesus, deliver us. Through thine infancy, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy most divine life, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy labors, Jesus, deliver us. Through thine agony and passion, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy cross and dereliction, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy faintness and weariness, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy death and burial, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy resurrection, Jesus, deliver us. Through thine ascension, Jesus, deliver us. Through thine institution of the most holy Eucharist, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy joys, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy glory, Jesus, deliver us. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, spare us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Jesus. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously, hear us. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who hast said, Ask, and ye shall receive. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Grant, we beseech thee, to us who ask, the gift of thy most divine love, that with all our heart, words, and works, we may love thee and never cease to praise thee. Make us, O Lord, to have a perpetual fear and love of thy holy name, for thou never failest to govern those whom thou dost solidly establish in thy love, who livest and reignest. Amen. Daily Novena Prayer to Saint Joseph O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession, and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having experienced here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary of contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Hold him close in my name, and kiss his fine head from me, and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Prayer to Our Guardian Angel Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love entrusts me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. 
prayer of the Halfheart family. Dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we come together as the Halfheart family to extend our deepest gratitude for the many blessings showered upon us, though we recognize our unworthiness. In humility, we ask for forgiveness for all of our sins. We pray for our salvation and endlessly seek your mercy. We remember the holy souls in purgatory, seeking their comfort and release. We lift up all sinners, especially those in their final hours, along with those members of our families and those dear to us. May your grace guide them to you. We hold in our hearts the sick, the hospitalized, and those confined to their homes. May they find healing in your embrace and return to health and wellness. Our thoughts turn to Pope Francis, praying for his strength of mind, body, and spirit. May he lead the Holy Catholic Church, fulfilling the mission you have entrusted to him. We pray for the leaders of nations around the world. Grant them the wisdom to govern according to your will, bringing the world much needed peace and righteousness. Finally, we yearn for the unity among all Catholics, from Pope Francis to your clergy, from all the devoted religious to every parishioner. May we come together under one holy Catholic and apostolic church, under one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and under the one true God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Yam Lucis Orto Sideri Now that the star of light has risen, let us to God most humbly pray to save us from all hurtful things in all our actions of the day, to bridle and restrain our tongue, that wordy war may not resound, to cover and protect our sight from dangerous follies all around, to drive iniquity away and purify our inmost soul, and by spare use of meat and drink our rebel passions to control, that when the day has sped away and he again the night shall bring, we may through holy abstinence with purity his glory sing. All glory to the Father be, all praise, eternal Son, to thee, all honor as is ever meet, to God, the holy paraclete. Come to us, Holy Spirit. Come to us, Holy Spirit, come, one with the Father and the Son. Vouchsafe to dwell within our souls, and quickly make our hearts thine own. Let voice and mind and heart and strength confess and glorify thy name, and let the fire of charity burn bright and other hearts in flame. O God, who canst not. O God, who canst not change nor fail, guiding the hours as they roll by, brightening with beam the morning pale, and burning in the midday sky. Quench thou the fires of hate and strife, the wasting fever of the heart, from perils guard our feeble life, and to our souls thy peace impart. Grant this, O Father, only Son, and Holy Spirit, God of grace, to whom all glory, three in one, be given in every time and place. Amen. Prayer 
before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before thy face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul I pray and beseech thee to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, true contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment. While with deep affection and grief of soul, I ponder within myself and mentally contemplate thy five most precious wounds. Having before my eyes the words which David the prophet put on thy lips concerning thee, O good Jesus, they have pierced my hands and my feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Saint Michael Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me in praying today's rosary by clicking the link in the top left corner. And remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. And click the notification bell so you never miss a prayer with us. God bless.